What's up everybody, Luke from T-Lab here. I was going to do a measurement on our giant pumpkin. I'm using the over the top method. I talked about it in one of our posts. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how it's done. So you do over the top. Um, it's first measurement you take from the stem of the pumpkin all the way to the blossom and you try to find it on the widest point. At least that's what I'm trying to do. So there's one measurement right there. I'm just using a string and do this real quick. There we've got, oh, uh, call it 51 inches. And then the over the top, you take three measurements, so that's one. The other one is over the top of the pumpkin this way. And you want it to go not like to the center of the pumpkin, but straight down to the ground. Again, you find the widest point. So straight down to the ground. So that was 51 plus, oh, you add your three things together, plus 64, so 115. And lastly, you go around the pumpkin, perpendicular to the ground at its widest point, which is, Pretty close right there, something like that. So we had, what, 215 plus, no, 115 plus, we're gonna call it 97, 115 and 97, what is that, quick, 212. Yeah. So then you take this, that number to this chart. This was figured out for Atlantic Giant Pumpkins. So this chart will give you an idea of the weight of your pumpkin based on that number we just added up. So what did I say, 212? So according to this chart, this pumpkin should weigh about 211 pounds. I weighed it a week ago, it was at 189 pounds. So it's put on, what's that, 12, no, 20 pounds little over 20 pounds in a week, that's cool. So we've got about two more, to two to three more weeks of growth out of this thing, as long as I keep it warm. So I'll be checking in again next week and we'll make another video and show you what it's done. Thanks guys, see ya.